Hello, this is the first video in the node math series and we're going to be talking about the math node so you can get it in if you add a node under converter math and this math node has a bunch of operations different mathematical operations and the first thing we're going to be looking at is the add operation so it says a plus b so a is the first one and b is the second one and we're putting in a value here so it's taking in an, the x value of this position and it's adding zero to it, which is the same as just doing nothing. So you can see that if I mute the note, it doesn't change anything. Um, I've added in this pixelate node. We'll, I'll show in a later video how to make it. It's not that difficult. And what it does is just uh, lets us set the resolution so that it's easier to see what we're doing. So I'll leave it at 5. And we're only looking at the x direction. So, And each point has a different value. And so the x, it's not just one value, but it's a whole range of values. And so every pixel, it has an x, y, and z component. And then we can do math to each of the components. So in this case, we're adding 0. So but we can also subtract, for example, um, which is the same as adding a negative number. So let's add negative one. Then everything becomes black because it's all less than zero. Everything less than zero becomes black. Um, let's do zero, minus 0 0.24. And now you see that the first one becomes black and it's like, it's almost as if everything has been shifted a little bit to the right. And if I do it slowly, so if I go back to zero and then slowly go to minus 0 0.2, you can see that it is indeed as if we were shifting the values to the right. If I increase the resolution, this will be even more obvious. And so this is one way that you can see when you add in a vector mapping node and you change the location, actually changing the x location is the same thing as adding this value to the x component. So I'll show it to you. So let's mute this node. Five rooms. It's outputting a vector, which is why we get a color. But other than that, you can see this again, just adding a value and moving it. So let's delete this and go back to our math node. Um, so the next one we'll be looking at is subtract. So subtract, uh, it does exactly as it says, it subtracts this value. And the reason you need this if you want to subtract the y value, x value from the y value. Um, if you're just using an add node, there's no way you can make this a negative, and that's why we have to use the subtract. So in this case, it's going through every x value, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's also going through every y value and oper putting the operation on each of those. That's why you have 25 different things. It looks like this is all the same thing, but it's actually not. So we can add in another math node and add. And you can see if I add, it's showing more and more, which shows that they're not all the same thing. Let's uh, remove this and remove this. And the next one is multiply. So multiplying by zero just sets everything to zero. If we set it to one, it's the same thing. And multiplying is like scaling. So it will put values closer together. So if you multiply by a value between zero and one, you can see that these values become closer to each other. So if you increase the resolution once again, putting every, and so putting the values between 0 and 1 makes 
it spread out more which causes the scale uh, if you put a scale to something between 0 and 1 it will look like it's getting bigger and if you put it above 1 it will look like it's getting small well it depends how it the coordinates are manipulated and the divide just does the opposite of multiplying so again the reason why we have a divide node is because sometimes you can't manually set the other one if you have two values you might need to change it multiply and divide and that is all for today